Jacket Golf Kavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. This is a scene here in Berlin, Germany. And they are calling for the Jews, come out and fight. Jew, Jew, come out and fight. Anti-Semitism is definitely on the rise all through Europe, in the United States. It's just unbelievable just how bad things are getting. And what's even sadder is that we're finding this uh, even in Christian communities, Christian groups. So much anti-Semitism, so many people turning against the Jewish people like never before. Uh, very disturbing indeed. And again, this is in Berlin, Germany. Uh, Channing, Jew, Jew, come out and fight. This was put out by Zvi Alando uh, from Israel. He lives there in Israel. He shared this on his Twitter account there. Just wanted to give you that information where we actually received that from. Also, Lorenzo, our good friend on Already Happened, is reporting uh, just yesterday. He sent me this video footage here. This is in Poland, uh, and a huge convoy of armored personnel carriers uh, headed somewhere, who knows where. It looks like early morning hours there. <clears throat> I'd actually counted the number of armored vehicles in there, and I think it was like 20 to 23 of those. I forget the number it was yesterday when I counted that. Uh, but it was just a large number of armored vehicles that were being carried there. Now, Lorenzo reported on his website uh, also, another interesting thing in regards to this, he said, Poland's conservative government has replaced almost all of its military leadership after hundreds of officers left. An exodus that coincides with a call from Warsaw to its NATO allies to help boost its defenses. What is going on? What is actually going on in Poland? I mean, no idea whatsoever. I did send a message to Lorenzo to try to find out get a little bit better idea of what's going on there, why this is being said, what's happening uh, in Poland for so many members of their uh, uh, high-ranking officers to be replaced. He also writes that the Defense Minister Antonio uh, Marcinowicz was conducted a widespread change at the top positions and operating units, each time replacing officers selected by the civic platform with experienced officers trained in Iraq, Afghanistan, and trained by NATO, the ministry said in a statement on Thursday, which we know this is where he got the information from, but still, I don't quite understand why the defection, why the replacement, what's going on? It clearly seems to be that they're putting in brass that has more experience with war, uh, and that is very concerning as well. Another thing that I caught uh, this morning uh, on, actually, uh, this article, I'd seen this on Twitter trending. This is actually in the Russian language, but it is on a Ukrainian uh, website, uh, newsdaily.com.ua. Scientists simulated the fall of, a, of, of, a, of London in Berlin by a giant asteroid. That was, that just, just seemed odd and out of place, right? Uh, the British scientists have estimated the scale of a disaster, the occurrence of which would uh, have triggered the fall in the world's major cities such as Berlin and London asteroids. Proper research is published in the Library of Le Electronic Preprints, uh, arxiv.org re reports, the letna.ru is where they're getting it from, Russian website. It says, fall of Berlin, heavenly body would affect more than 3.5 million people. Uh, from around 6 million people that live in the city for London, with a population of 13.9 million. I would imagine it affect a heck of a lot more if you have an asteroid hit, hit uh, London like that. In both cases in the region, the asteroid impact craters have been formed, and the main far, uh, factors affecting would have been a strong wind, the impact of a shock wave, and a thermal radiation. So, but the question still remains, why are scientists looking at this if there's not a fear that something like this may very well happen uh, in the coming months and days? Uh, also in the News Daily, another interesting report here, something we've already been sharing with you, and that is the uh, large number of helicopters, more uh, equipment coming into uh, Europe. Uh, the Black Hawk helicopters that we see coming in continually being offloaded, being brought in by transport planes, uh, which is another issue in, in itself. 
Why are they being brought in by transport planes if there's not a planned military intervention in the very near future? Uh, the paper here writes on here, while in Russia, Russia, excuse me, Russia Ushka, constantly speculating over what is now to come up with the image of Donald Trump, used to make almost a dissident of Europe. The EU countries uh, to circulate the flow of various kinds of equipment, and in the case, the shot hit the next transfer to Eastern Europe helicopters of the U.S. Army. In other, in other words, the point is that they're trying to make in this article here, there's just a lot of concern whether or not President Trump would continue uh, to strengthen the Atlantic Resolve or the Operation Atlantic Determination, as it's also called, um, inside of Europe along Russia's border there. And because Donald Trump was trying to, seemingly more so, trying to defuse the situation uh, that NATO has built up on Russia's border in the Baltics, all around Ukraine, in various regions that we've already been mentioning to you, Romania, Greece now, um, and, and many other regions of the world, they're building up a huge amount of military equipment and operations there. And you can't help but wonder, is America just building a whole bunch of new military equipment over there? Because they're shipping everything here to Europe. Uh, in different places like that. And according to Dr. Stephen Pidgeon, who we had on here on Israeli News Live, Stephen said that this military equipment has been purchased by the European Union, that it's not even coming here uh, as uh, just as a, a, a free ride, but the European Union has purchased this equipment to build up a huge uh, EU military that they have been talking about doing over in Bratislava, where Yana, my wife Yana Benun and myself had reported there for you. Uh, so big question is, is why is this happening? What's going on? And of course, Ukraine is kind of getting a little bit excited about it because they feel like that Russia is about to get smacked uh, by, the, by NATO at a very near future date, no doubt. Mount Etna volcano uh, near Sicily, Italy, of course, yesterday erupted to life as I think about eight months ago it also erupted, but it's really uh, spewing up an, an amazing fireworks show. RT News had it yesterday. They were running it live as the image was firing up. They say that the, the small communities below the volcano <clears throat> had not been affected as of yet. Doesn't mean that that's not going to change. Uh, but uh, just to let you know, a lot of things are rumbling under Italy. Uh, and speaking of Italy, yesterday we had put up a... Uh, news broadcasts from Real News Right Now. Pope Francis orders Vatican archives to reveal God's name ending centuries of secrecy. Uh, we have moved this particular news broadcast, it's also a prophetic broadcast, to private. Now the information that we shared in there with you biblically is clearly prophetic and not anything wrong with that information whatsoever. But uh, we begin to have uh, concerns because we like to verify. We do believe firmly in biblical uh, prophecy that says, you know, having two or three as a witness. Uh, so I was looking for a second source when I put the video together. Um, and as I did, the only other source I came up with was on lead stories under Catholic News. But there again, they're only citing this uh, one journalist here on... Um, uh, real news right now. So I, I've been doing more investigation. I, I know that he's been considered, the, the author of this site has been considered, Mr. Hobas, uh, uh, as a fake news by some communities already. Some claim satire. Um, so we've looked into more of the issues. But he does quote Sky News in here. He quotes BBC journalists as having this inside information. And yes, the actual meeting that he's referring to where this happened at uh, the, sort, the link that he gives there, it is true. Yes, Catholic News Agency, the Pope Francis did meet uh, during the Torah uh, manifestation of God's love for man is the title of the article there. He did meet with the Jewish community as, as the date was stated in there last week. And, um, you know, there were a lot of things that were said. I've actually looked at the official transcript of what he said. And in the official transcript, uh, it is not mentioned that he's going to unlock the archive, Vatican archives uh, where they have some ancient scrolls from the Second Temple period that, um, where the temple was destroyed that was brought back to Rome. However, even in Israeli news not too long ago, a few months back there, Israeli news as well did another article 
uh, reporting that, as we stated in this broadcast yesterday, that the golden menorah is still in the hands of the Vatican, and they are still requesting the Vatican to hand this over. So we do believe that there are actual documents there. We do believe without, without question, even from the information we shared in the video yesterday, there are archaeologists that have clearly uh, said that the Vatican has these ancient scrolls and documentation that was ransacked from 70 AD and brought back uh, to Rome and then later handed over to the, uh, the Catholic Church. But the question still remains is if we can verify um, the actual article itself on Real News uh, right now. And because I have not been able to get that second witness, I chose to put the video on private, uh, and we would like to reach out to you guys as well. Uh, because the one thing that concerns me in this article here is he mentions that the cardinals are in, uproar, in an uproar, that the Vatican has received two million inquiries regarding God's name since Pope's announcement on Thursday. And you would think if that many people were writing in to the Pope of Rome to know more about this information, that this would have been made more public. Uh, so that would just send up a little bit of a red flag for us there. So I cannot say without, with, with certainty that this is correct. Uh, so if you happen, if you can do some research on your own, again, they quote Sky News. Um, he says on here, a source inside the Vatican secret archives told Sky News that the church first became aware of the scroll's existence in the fifth century. Okay. Now, he may be referring back to an older document as well, because if you'll notice what it speaks about is the, the scroll that was uncovered in a subsequent destruction of the temple in 70 AD. So it could be a very old article from Sky News. Uh, but, you know, again, we've reached out to the author of this article as well. And uh, I've sent him an email, I've sent him a Twitter message as well as a Facebook message asking him if he can clarify how he's uh, obtained this information. At that rate, anyway, that's as much as we can give you as of right now. I uh, did find it kind of interesting under Catholic News over this story appeared as well. I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.